Live from Bucharest, we have the third and final map between Into the Breach and 3D Max. The exciting and thrilling conclusion, Anders, will take place on Anubis. You've got 3D Max, I've got Into the Breach. One of these teams has to go home. That's, that's the headline. That's a heartbreaking part as well. Um, it's going to be definitely tears. It's uh, it's an emotional day for five of these guys, you one way or another. You just go on Twitter right now, you can see how it affects the players. Like, yep. yeah, NIP are pouring their hearts out right now. Um, not not doing too good over there. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's the most important part of the year, right? You don't make it to the major. It is. That's everything for the players, for the organizations, everyone involved in the CS ecosystem, including us, right? Like everyone wants to be at the major. Everyone wants to show what they've been working on. So and completely understandable. Commiserations to NIP, and unfortunately, we do have to say goodbye to one of these two teams, ITB or 3D Max. ITB absolutely decimated them on the first map of Inferno. Are we kicking things off on the T side here? It's still, of course, very important. The action's about to get underway. Yeah, they got the duelies behind the pillar, but my god, what a knockout. Masuta with the start here. How much can two pistols do? Exercise, try his best. No! And oh my god, he got the double kill. He should have been wiped out. But the duelies come up huge. And another set on Maka. He's found a couple of kills himself. I thought with Misuta. That clean headshot to start with, that should have been plenty enough. That should have been enough for them to at least get the bomb plant in this round. But instead, it's 3D Max on their way to winning the pistol, and they will, with Jocko taking down Ryland. That is huge. What a turnaround. After losing that first frag as well, into the breach, thought they had broken through, punctured the defense, but there was one more player with those dual elites. Seven guns on the CT defense here. And they get absolutely mowed down. Let's have a look at it. Exercise the MVP of the previous map as well. Absolute pandemonium here on the A bomb site. And it's Maka looking cool, calm, and collected to close things out. Jocko will get that final kill. As uh, we do see no bomb planted, so it has to be the full eco into the breach. One of those rounds we don't really have much to say. They've got nothing to bring to the table. A couple of P250s in the mix, but ultimately no Kevlar or utility. This all you can really do is hope for a couple of kills. Uh, if you get the bomb planted in this round, that's a bit of a victory in its own right. Let's see if Jocker, though, with the USB in hand, gets a little bit dinged there. Needs to be careful now. He's still smiling. I think he's accepting it, saying, oh, yeah, you know, you tagged me. It's all right. I'm not going to care too they much. They tagged Hatchie as well, yeah. But Spimas will be sent packing. Might have been worth a swing there, considering he's just got the P250, but... Either way, we'll see if they can find a kill. Bimas will open things up with a double. Maybe there's a chance for third here. If Thomas can make his way through the smoke, one more kill would be fantastic. No bullets left in an MP9, though, I'm afraid. And that's going to be it. Two kills will take it. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, try and do a little bit of damage. They are going to be saving the two M4s and the FAMAS, so some of the MP9s just kind of get cycled out. And they're going to be well-equipped into this next round. Into the breach, though. They will be with AKs across the board, so quite lethal. Trying to see if they can find a way in. 3D Max. Need to go on a bit of a run here. The CT side can be quite hard to play. Um, some teams really struggling to get any map control and they're just kind of left being executed up on by the T side. Like, you're, you're not you're not stopping anyone, you're not getting any information. A couple of teams have become really good, I think, on this map, on the CT side, of pushing out and finding out what's happening on the map, but it usually comes at a big risk. Here's an attempt at the very least exercise, trying to think he could do something, some flashes and some smokes to cover his retreat. But I mean, even that, you know, you're sort of showing yourself, you're, you're having them respect that part of the map a little bit more. Here we go then, Rallon, tip of the spear towards middle, tucks himself in towards window for now. Maka needs some intel. It's a lot more than he bargained for though, but there is a bit of a stack here. Lucky with the first, they're not gonna detect the third either. It's exercise continuing. They find kill after kill here. Winnable scenario, but maybe not for long. Crucial. Managing to do massive damage here and close things out. The Orpa with four kills in total, the AK-47. Well, actually three, I should say. But four kills in total. And it will be the first on the board for Into the Breach. The money after losing those two kills in the second round is yeah. actually pretty compromised here. Um, so it might even be worth a tactical timeout, all things considered. If you're just joining us, welcome to the final game of the day. We just saw VP go through to the major itself on the A stream. Uh, none of those antics here, I'm afraid. We're looking to see who will go home next here on the secondary stream. Crucial, fighting two for nail to keep the dream alive. We're into the breach. And uh, 
Just so you know as well, if you're not familiar with the Swiss system, this would be the first victory. You need three in total to make it to the major in general. So still a long road ahead for the winner of this series. Unbelievably hard to qualify once you've you're gone have, down 02. As days go by, you're going to have more and more experienced uh, veterans up against you. Yeah. Like This is uh, one of the, the easier games, I suppose, on your routes to Copenhagen. So Eco is being deployed by 3D Max. Interesting little setup. They've got a five-man stack in towards middle. No flashes to speak of. And Crucial looking to replicate the form of the previous round. Okay, so far so good, but they are getting lined up and absolutely mowed down. Bimas and Rallon, no issue there. That first kill was interesting. There could have been something more happening behind it. No chance for the USP to do anything. No one surprised by that, really. So into the breach, going to be finding another round. Thomas has been getting the bomb plant right at the end. Ties up the game real early on. See how much they can bring into this one. They have got the AWP. I'm seeing an auto shotgun unlucky. Could it really be true? Another one on exercise? Am I, is, what's happening here? I've anyway? never seen a double shotgun setup on a gun round. But uh, you know what? As the days go by in CS2, we're unearthing new ideas, new matters. Every single tournament, it seems. I've been seeing the, the Zeus come to life here. We, we had the shotguns towards the end of 2023. Maybe there's some real viable use case for them on this particular map. Soon we'll be finding out as we're going quickly in towards the A side. But we're not going to be dissuaded by the smoke. It's going to be that shotgun to open things up. My God, does it ever. Looking for a third kill right now. Might just be happy with the double kill. Not done just yet. You can see you can blow those smokes open yeah. with the shotguns there. That's stifling play. As he gets himself a double kill, Hadji chiming in as well. What a round from 3D Max. Not just getting the double, but he was jumping over the bullets coming through the smoke. They, it looked sick, didn't it? They can't even stay calm and composed in those moments because you just got shells flying towards you left and right. You can see they're getting vision by spamming that smoke as well as so opening um, windows for the rifles. Hadji capitalizes and finds a third all-important killer. Lucky might as well go over the flank. He doesn't necessarily want the shotgun going forward. If he can find a kill and get himself $900 and uh, potentially a rifle, certainly worth it. They don't want to allow Into the Breach to save a damn thing. They are going to be on the hunt here. Playing the smoke fade, exercise. Maybe overstepping the mark here. Is there anything left to be said about round number five? Oh, maybe with that one, if he could have stayed alive, it would have been real interesting. One Hello. player left, it's crucial. Looking to see if he can clutch his way out of this one. He's already got the one kill. 30 seconds on the clock, and he's got the bomb on his back. Jocko, he's been playing so well, though. Doubt if he's going to take this fight on his own. Soon as they can confirm that he's on the site, they know he's not going to be running back towards the B-bomb site, so he's stuck in here, and Jocko not even allowing him to get the bomb plant. My god. A little bit aggressive, perhaps, but 3D Max to win the round with a double shotgun play. So sick. That's, that's when it makes sense, right? If you can predict their tendencies, how they like to play, uh, we know Into the Breach are playing uh, quite a chaotic, aggressive game right now, especially in their T side. It's grouping up as a five-man unit, trying to get through choke points. And you could see in the previous map, they were getting like the smoke would go down. They'd just reset the round. This time, they opted to pop it open and try and force the issue. But shotgun on the other side causes absolute turmoil for Into the Breach. But they do have a buy here. Uh, compromise one. It looks like we've got a technical issue. Thomas it feels like it. Yeah. They're hunting for chickens. 3D Max are going into the sea. Like the love cats that they are, Henry. <laughs> I like you that. To that's a, lot of that's a cure. I know. I don't know the reference. I like that. Um, that's cool. But it looks like we do have the reset coming through. If you're not aware, as long as no damage has been inflicted, you just call that the, the round is not live. We can get things reset. And this is the final map of day two here at the PGL Major RMR. Yeah. European edition. Do you have a game, Henry, in your career um, that, like, a, you know, a really significant loss where somebody really screwed up? Maybe you screwed up that you remember, like, you know, still, um, you, you, like, one that really hurts when you still think about it? You know, most of my career was losing to the French. <laughs> um, like, losing to, like, Shocks and RPK. Like, every, every final, like, we just get owned by them. Um, so it's really difficult to pinpoint one exact memory. Like, we'd enough. always take, like, one map off them, but they'd always beat us. Um, it's even more painful, isn't it? Yeah, so that, that's my, that's kind of my career summarized. Never actually won many trophies, but always was in the, the playoffs, always made it to the finals. But let me think, is there anything I really screwed up? I was the in-game leader most of the time as well. So okay. definitely like would have been responsible for a lot of the losses, but 
let me get back to you. Counter Strike Source and as I retired in it's 2000, a long time ago, yeah, 2011. Yeah. I retired from pro play. <laughs> well, my point was going to be, I feel like this could be one of those, you know, nights for, for one of these two teams, right? Where okay. You, you just remember it for a long time. Like no, it's okay. in your own brain, you know. I see what you're saying. So <clears throat> for me, I used to talk about this like a loss at a significant tournament. You think you're going to do well. You yeah. think you have a deep run. It will be. You'll feel sick to the pit of your stomach for about two weeks. You'll have this oh, horrible feeling where you can't sleep. It's all you can think about. You think, if I just did that differently, yeah. if I just listened to this, and I just uh, considered this as an option, um, yeah, you'll hope you. Especially at this sort of event, it'll be two weeks of like I don't want to say depression, but certainly something similar to it. Like it's such like a horrible feeling when you've put your your life uh, the last six weeks or so into this one tournament and. He didn't show up or one of your teammates didn't understand the call. They didn't prep a certain grenade. And it comes down to like the minutiae. Uh, I don't know. It's definitely like one of the hardest things to deal with as a pro player. Do you think that becomes the fuel for like the future? You say like, I never want to feel like that ever again. Like I never want to be I in that I mean, position. like it's difficult to compare because back in the day, we didn't have social media, right? Like um, we didn't even like YouTube was barely a thing. Twitter wasn't even invented yet. Um, so for us, like you could kind of avoid this this shit that we're seeing online right now. Like players like NIP, like I said, they're pouring their hearts out on Twitter right now. Convict, quite an emotional tweet. I feel bad for him. Like it seems yeah. like the community response, like sure, as an organization, NIP don't have the best rep, but as the players, you got to feel for them. Like that, that's a rough way to go out. They are working their asses off. They're, they're really, um, they, they know the position they're in. They're not lying about it. They're not coming in saying we're going to win the whole tournament. They've even stated it's going to take a year. Yeah. Um, but still, you, you saw how much it affected them. Uh, we saw the shots after the game. Hedrick especially was devastated, like knowing that they've really got the spotlight on them right now. And yeah, it's just like one of the worst feelings, like losing a big game of CS when it's close as well. And it comes down to like a really uh, fumbled round or something like that. Yeah, it really can affect you mentally. Yeah, and NIP, you know, speed other like they had to, they they made their comeback uh, and you know had to play what like double or triple overtime or whatever it was happening on the B stream yesterday. And they After still recovering like that 10 2 deficit know, as well. Like, so, like, you oh. came all that way, you played like 40 plus rounds. Yeah. And that's when you lose. And uh, I think Convict just did an interview as well. And he said that's some of the worst CS that's ever been, not even we played, some of the worst CS ever played. Uh, we just weren't on the same page. Gosh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. 0 3, first team eliminated. We're looking for the next one here. Yeah, yeah. Probably really worth remembering, like, the, the, the personal, that emotional state that goes into this for everyone win or lose like you're gonna have a, an experience for life here but yeah you're watching at home uh, it could be easy to kind of forget because you know it's just what you know you're just a spectator of the whole thing but for these guys no question this is it crucial just doesn't age he looks like the same kid I played with 10 years ago to be honest with you he's like 28 now. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something it's because we're all aging with him like this, is, this right. is the thing that happens like yeah. <laughs> I have the same thing I, I watched Seize the other day I thought has he even aged at all like is he like the same Seize I guess What's you're right on, yeah you know? good point it's just we're getting old too Henry that's a problem very old um, here we go round six thank you for bearing with us ladies and gents third and final map here final map of this the, the races here at the RMR one of these two teams has to go home Aji uh -oh. opening up the fragging here finds Rallin through a smoke and what's the initial setup? The bomb's back at T steps. And probing towards A main, crucial. Crosshair fixated towards the dark room. That was a T thrown smoke. And it was really, it was really shallow towards the CT side. I wonder if Rowland actually wanted to push through and take that fight and it was just being read from the other side. That's pretty sick. CT's keenly aware of what was going on. I'd love to see that smoke if they're going to try and throw it again. That looked like an attempt to create a bit of a gap in it that you could walk through if you're at the right time. But they're pushing out onto the plateau towards the A-bomb side. Pretty much stuck up there now and actually planting the bomb. Wow, they've managed to push them back. That's more than I was expecting here. Masuta landing a shot. They're going to need a little bit more. Still a four versus three in the after plan. Masuta good for one more. And look at Lucky. He can't stay looking at the cake. He has to push Ooh. forward. It's Thomas, an unlikely candidate to have picked up the AWP, but he lands the shot on Lucky. And this might be a round here for Into the Breach. I can't believe it. I think you might be onto something here. Hadji, though, not giving it up just yet. He finds one kill on the aforementioned cake. It's going to be Masuta looking for his fourth fight, if possible. Not going to happen. And Anders, I think they've actually fumbled it. There's a kid in play. That's a guaranteed defuse. And 3D Max snatched the round away. I think into the breach were looking a bit too comfortable towards the end. They Maybe were. they thought it was done because they didn't even play the bomb. They didn't even force the defuse before they peaked. They're all in the open, kind of, I don't want to say daydreaming, but certainly not coordinated.
that could have worked out better. One of them obviously playing on the bomb side couldn't really escape, but the other two probably could have played that a little bit more passively. Maybe they were worried because of the low health on Thomas. They were worried about getting Molotov out. But the bomb was at such a pace at that stage. All you had to really do was run it down, force him to touch it. The positioning in the post plant was just not good enough. After Masuta's fantastic efforts there against his fellow countrymen, not quite enough. And that's a huge round to give up. And 3D Max called the timeout to let them stew over it. Let them bicker. Let them talk. Yeah. Really feel the pain. That is a painful round to lose, isn't it? At the start of the game here. Remember, it could be a very T-sided map, this one. So the fact that 3D Max are already... Look at that. I think that smoke's thrown intentionally that way from the T-side. And oh. it's just a great read. So he gets that first kill. No one's watching the camera position. Yeah. I think they thought that round was over. I think there's a bit of panic going on there. Because they had that was a perfect plan for them. You saw it was planted yeah, for a main. It was. And they don't even allow it to like oh, get a great. defuse going. They don't even play with the bomb. They're swinging one by one. That was pretty woeful. Oh, they, they are going to be gutted. It's a really intelligent call to force the time out there for 3D Max because you know they're going to be gutted and bickering. So yeah. uh, pretty look, smart. Look at the auto shotgun. It's back and we're getting yeah, why it. Why not? They still haven't got to the P90 meta that you and I know is out there, but it is available. We haven't seen it yet. We did see in the fledgling days of CS2, a few teams brought it out to create effect. It feels like every gun is almost viable right now. Yeah. No one's been using the PP Bizon though. Oh, that's still... Maybe that is the secret weapon that we're going to see. It was when CSGO first came out. I remember in yeah. the beta, it was like, we flew out to Valve um, in 2011, and everyone was using the P90 and the Bizon because they were better than the AK and the M4. <laughs> it was like me and the Very Games team at the time, like my British team versus the French. And we like, they said, right, guys, um, let's play like a competitive game. Let's pretend like it's a, an official match, and everyone's running around with Bizon's P90s. And I was like, what did you think of the game? And it's like, uh, no, not really what we were looking for from a Counter Strike title, <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool stuff. Thanks for, thanks for flying us out. Valve well, can't catch a break, can <laughs> <laughs> But of course, that's uh, they, they sorted CSGO out. Well, check this out. Auto shotgun in the right place. I can't believe that's not a multi-spray down. There is a team kill involved in all of the madness. And Thomas picked up. Yeah, he's going to switch that out for the M4. It makes sense. A bomb plan right now would actually be huge for his team. Just get that little bit of extra bonus, a little bit more buying power in the upcoming round. Not going to be possible. Haji will take him down. Struggling so badly. I think Hachi had three kills in the first map, maybe three or four kills. Played a lot better on the second one, but warming up into this one. He's up to eight and four right now. Huge personal comeback for him as 3D Max. Never seen a better shotgun position than that one. Just didn't work out, but still five to two in their favor. 3D Max laying in some groundwork at the moment. Five rounds on the CT side. That's, that's pretty respectable already. It's very respectable. It's the most T-sided map we have in the pool, officially. I yeah. even asked Maniac about it. As I normally say that, I'm not really a stats guy. We all know that. Maniac is, though, and he confirmed. So... Having a good authority. Yeah, so it's his fault he's actually wrong. That's what I'm saying. I like that. <laughs> Here we well, go. I trust him, too, so... Nice work. Exercise has been unbelievable the last couple of maps. Yeah, this is what I talked about earlier, right? You have to be able to push out on the CT side. Otherwise, you're giving the T's all the real estate. And it can be very, very tricky on this map. So many teams that have struggled with it. 3D Max at the moment, finding a way to do that. And funneling, you can tell, into the breach. They're being pushed into the middle. Smoke's on the one side, Molotov's in front. How do you get out of this? But this seems like a tactically an impossible position to win from here. On the T side, you, they know exactly where you're coming from. 50 seconds, Anders. Mr. Lucky lies in wait, gets himself a guaranteed frag. Doesn't get the second, but he maintains the advantage, gets solid information, and now their options are very limited on the T side equation. They're going to get, enter the beach. Are into the breach. Adji, though, another strong position with the AK 47, a lot of damage output as well. Again, maintaining the man advantage. One and done positions are fine in this sort of situation. This time, not converting, though. That's significant. As it plant the bomb, exercise, though. Could sabotage their efforts. He'll take down the defending player. Now he has to find the planter, which he'll do in emphatic style. Great stuff. The sixth round is found for 3D Max. It's time to run away with his first half, Anders. Yeah, they are. And bear in mind, like, ugh, that fumbled round on the A bomb site. 
That might come back to haunt them. That, it could. It could look like that was a pretty tragic way to give that round up. Like, he didn't even... There was, what, maybe 10 seconds left on the bomb total when the retake was attempted. And then everyone starts throwing themselves in one by one. The comms were completely disastrous. They haven't even touched C4 yet, and you're all running yeah. into his crosshair. Like, what are you doing? Like, what, what happened? That's going to cost them a lot, it feels like. It already has. It's, I yeah. must say, exercise. The first kill is really significant, but look at how he handles the last one. He's walking through the smoke, he's ignoring the bomb, he's counting on the fact that Bamar's not going to be holding the smoke exactly on that side. It's actually such a sick play. Because I thought maybe what he was going to try and do is just spray down the bomb. Because if he actually got the kill through the smoke, I think they win the round anyway, but what he did maybe was even better. Timeout now called into the breach, need a way back into this one. Yeah, 3D Max looking way too comfortable right now into the breach slipping yeah they're slipping away fading out of the major made it to the playoffs over in paris a magical tale of counter-strike no one saw it coming the first like british core we'd had ever yep. at the event made it all the way to the playoffs and now looking down the barrel your tournament elimination in last place zero three do or die time here need to find at least Four rounds on the T side to stand a chance. Crucial. Trying to find that opening pick, but vision obscured and head removed by Jocko. Yeah, clean for the smoke as you like. But Rallon's going to get some revenge, and it's exercise they get to take down. That's got to be considered pretty good news, Consider just look at him. 10 and 7 right now. Outfragging everybody in the server. So, yeah, get rid of him. And as we do love to repeat, and even trade will generally favor the T side. Same is going to be true on this map, although, again, a bit of practice play coming out from the CTs. It might backfire on them. I still do like it. They're looking for something. They're not just waiting around on the 3D Max side for Into the Breach to find their footing. They're going to be going back. They know they've softened up this bomb side. Haji's very, very low on health. He just has not back up in Lucky, who's got a Molotov as well. So this can be defended, but it won't be easy. It certainly won't be. They give up their position. Haji, though, hiding behind the pillar. Only good for one. Can Lucky go one step further? He gives Mac a, a winnable scenario, but the must-win round does go in favor of Into the Breach. Trading out effectively there, making their way in towards the B side. There were moments of danger for sure, but that's more like it. And in terms of loss bonus, bear in mind, 3D Max will be bottom of the barrel. That's $1,400. So there have been some close rounds. There's been some unfortunate rounds through the breach, but they have kept the money modest on the CT side. So that's a huge one for them to win. It might force the full eco, or maybe better news that they go for the full buy, because that means the money will be drained for the remainder of the half they give that round up. They've gone for the former, so nothing invested. That's four on the board. We said that's the bare yeah. minimum for into the breach. So they've managed to accomplish that, but the Zeus is out in play once again. Like we said, if you're not aware, uh, it's been speculated it's been buffed in CS2. I tend to agree. CSGO is pretty useless, but as long as you connect... Double Zeus. As long as you connect the Zeus and CS2, it seems to be a guaranteed kill. Three Zeus, Henry. Dude, like, it's become... It's got to become a thing. <laughs> it's it's Robt has made it a thing. Like, this one, I don't even hate. The Zeus is actually kind of sick. Oh, but Rallon's found a really good angle for it here. Is he going to be expecting a second one? He's a little bit paranoid at the moment. Doesn't mean they're not out to get him. Marker is going to go down as well. None of the Zeus have managed to connect with anything yet. He's even got the Zeus skin. <laughs> he's, a, he's on a whole other level. That's pretty cool. But it doesn't look like he's going to find anything either. I would say, not financial advice or right anything, I'd say the, the way the Zeus is going right now, you might want to grab the skin. I feel like <laughs> after this event... Um, it's gonna be like it's gonna be meta. I like how you're prefacing that. Though. Yeah, just like I need Not to be I know, <laughs> Just to be clear, uh, that is a new skin for the the latest case, and they have enabled Zeus skins now. So I would say the way this mage is going, uh, maybe pick one of those up if you want, if you like it. Yeah, for the art. For the art. Yeah, exactly. Well, this time, unfortunately, looks like it's gonna be hard to put it to use. They're still hunting for them a little bit here. Exercise in the corner. When do you make the jump? If it's too early, you're just going to get shut down. If it's too late, they're going to be swinging at you as well. He's trying to do something here. Nice little shot with the USP. Goes to pick up the rifle. And yeah, now he's forgot all about the Zeus. Just about doing a little bit more damage if he can. Throws out the gun. Attempting to fake the grenade. But um, yeah, still into the breach. Critical round. They need to get back on their feet right now. They are 
getting kind of close to getting knocked out here. This is the truth, right? Again, they're playing on the more favored side of this map. They want to at least make this a 6 6 first half. Oh, absolutely. They have the AKs, they have the AWP on Crucial. The Master One leading the charge. Thomas, MVP of the first map, hands down. Yeah. Three kills in game lead up. Start to fade away, but into the breach, you're finding a bit of success in these last couple of rounds. 6 4, we said that's the bare minimum. Can they find something extra here in the penultimate round of this first half at the final map? All comes down to this Anubis, and it's Thomas dropped again, unfortunately. He'll go down, and it's through the smoke of B main once again. They've lost back to back kills there now. Yeah, that's a little bit devastating. Down before. And now it's Thomas. They've spotted Rallon. Lucky to be alive. Look at how they're pushing out. How do the B site? This is so sick. This is really good theory from 3D Max. It's what you want to be able to do, but Rallon captures them just in time and actually sees Jocko as well. So it, now it's kind of backfired a little bit. I still think it's a good idea because you can't really just stay passive on the CT side. You have to do something. Marka, very awkward timing, but he's able to pick up the kill anyway. Knows that he's being slowly circled in. He wanted to push forward. He had to try and take the fight, but Masuta, the man of the hour, two kills for him. The bomb is going to be planted here and into the breach, well on their way to tying up the scoreline because, again, there's not going to be any money on the CT side after this round. They're going to spend everything in this one. Lucky already spotted out. Rallon just trying to buy some time and be annoying. It's all unlucky. One versus two. Don't think this much. Yeah, might be better to save the AK. That's all they're going to have in the next round. Wow, well done. Very Five well done. To six. They're back, baby. Even after losing that first kill in the form of Thomas, managing to convert. It's Masuta continuing pretty strong form throughout this series. Crucial with one, and two players will survive. Just lucky for 3D Max as the bomb is guaranteed now. Boom goes the dynamite. As we got the final round of this first half, this T side campaign from Into the Breach, they are stabilizing things now. It was getting well out of hand. Things were spiraling for them. They lost a couple of awkward rounds, but back to their winning ways. And to be fair, like you said it came down to timings there. It was a nice little reaction there from the CTs. They had maybe got into hiding a second before. Rallon wouldn't have found them. He would have yeah. gone down. And it all comes down to the smaller nuanced details. Final round, though, as mentioned, 3 Max with the saved AK. The shotguns are deployed once again. The double shotgun set up, Anders. On the CT side. You love to see it. Let's go. It worked one time. Why not yeah. again? And They're going to be having nightmares on the breach side if they run into the shotguns one, once more. These, this is classic into the breach. Just like wolf pack mentality. Stick together. Call from spawn. They know they're a chaotic team. They can just trade out kills with basic executions. It could be enough, but they're making a lot of noise outside. You can hear grenade pins being pulled. Exercise. Time spots maybe get one. Taken down by Masuta. They are going to convert on this one. Uh oh. And the damage being done with that Molotov is significant, to say the very least. Maka trying to tuck himself in. He's got a great spot. He doesn't have the HP to go toe to toe with Thomas. Lucky certainly does, though. Four versus one. Had you to retake everything with the auto shotgun. It's not going to be enough. Perfectly played round here from Into the Breach. Didn't give up. Didn't fall apart when the going got tough. They recalibrate and come back to post a 6-6 six, six scoreline considering where they're at. That's a great resurgence. Four rounds in a row to close things out. Yeah, that's very respectable. Uh, and like you said, that Wolfpack mentality, as soon as they got the opening kill, they just power on through this. No slowing, no breaks on that train. Headed straight into the bomb site. So very decisive, but still for 3D Max point of view, this is pretty good. They got six rounds. It's more than a lot of teams are able to do these days on Anubis. So I wouldn't count them out yet. We'll see if they can bring Thomas to live on the second half. Not really the greatest showing for him at the beginning of this one, but pistol round going to be coming up. Again, put yourself in the mind space of some of these players. Either you get to fight another day, you get to play another best of three here to try and qualify for the major, or you get knocked out and you have to spend the next couple of weeks in a slump just thinking about the loss, thinking about everything you could have done to make a difference. Well, yeah, the, the, the unfortunate fact is for these two uh, specific teams that they're not invited to every tournament. They're, they're, they're yeah. not going to be at uh, uh, your Dallas's and uh, your, your Blast events and stuff like that. They, they've got to go for the open qualifiers and these are rare opportunities. It's and hard down there. 
yeah, it's still going to be a massive labor journey into the major itself, but it all starts here. Third and final map, we split it right down the middle. It's going to take absolutely everything to convert this one, get it over the line, and come back swinging. In the future, two more best of threes will be required down the line, but for now, they just need to focus on this final half of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Into the breach versus 3D Max. The chips are down. It's wide open. Couldn't be closer if we tried. Into the breach, we're looking uncomfortable. KG once again, but they pull their socks up and they put themselves back in a winning spot. Goes without saying, this pistol is worth its weight in gold. Yeah, you're going to remember the outcome of this pistol round for a long, long time. So what have we got to work with? Single smoke on the T side. And the flashbang as well. They've opted for a bit more firepower. Look at the CTs. Just no kits, no smokes, no nothing. Just all USP and armor. Trusting in the raw mechanics for this one. Exercise crouching on. It's a lot of damage onto Masuti. He knows he's got him weak. And now it's Thomas fighting instead. My god, exercise! Dodging every single bullet and just defeating them at the bomb side. He's looking for more, but finally he's met his match. Crucial on the other side. Can he do one better? Can he get Ooh. the triple kill? Running out of bullets just barely. Being flanked now. Jocko's hunting him down. He needs some backup right now. Crucial. Maybe he doesn't. My god, he's handled himself well. He really has, Anders. The fact he's taken two kills down, brought it back to a three on three and delayed that plan for his teammates to arrive at the scene of the crime is absolutely everything. Look at Lucky though. But they haven't accounted for Lucky. He's got a hell of a flank and there's a hell of a shot from Maka. That might be enough to secure the round here with that flank coming through towards the camera room. CTs would need something miraculous at this stage to stick the landing. As you mentioned, there are no kits. Everyone's off the Kevlar, Rallin pulls one back. Oh, it's a missed opportunity for Lucky there. Gives up his positioning, but bear in mind there's no kits as well. So they're going to have to defuse and just stick it for now. Yeah, I don't think they can tap it like they are. They, yeah, one of them defusing. Oh, oh my god, Rallin with a headshot. Do they have time? I think they do. It's so low. Surely there's no way the flank coming in. Rallin with a triple kill. He's still on oh. it. Oh, it's so close, Henry. Okay. Well, they had one fumbled round in that first half. I don't even think 3D Max played that necessarily wrong. It's just perfectly uh, maneuvered there by Into the Breach. I can't believe it. A five on three recovery. And the Flying Dutchman, crucial. With two amazing frags from the Briggs position, bought enough time. Lucky with a missed opportunity at that flank and Rallon, his best sequence in the series thus far. Just and what a round to turn up in. Just feel lucky to fire that gun one time. Even if he just stays crouched and does nothing at all, they probably have won the round. You're right. Yeah, the fact he missed that shot, it That's gave his position and he didn't get the headshot. So if he just stayed alive there, you're dead on. Yeah, it's a good point. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. Well, for Into the Breach, it's a chance. It's a chance to make a bit of a comeback here on the second half. They needed this pistol round. It was on the line for them and crucial and Rallin able to bring it back in an important way. See, 3D Max with a bomb plant, no surprise. They've gone for the buy. Maybe a bit of a surprise, the fact that it's got five Galils in it. So no AKs getting picked up on this one. And on the other side, they're ready for it. Rallin's got the Org. Bit of a weird weapon to see this early on in the half. But definitely our players out there that know how to use it. Masuta going back to take a look. It's crucial to begin with. The Masuta straight taken down. Exploded, in fact, at the A bomb site. And the Galils continue to power on through. Thomas trying to beat them to the punch here. It's falling apart for the defense. Crucial and Rallin. You've got no money at all in the bank. You might have to try and save this. Not even going to be possible here. This is the problem. Even if you win a tight pistol round and the bomb gets planted, you may be even on the back foot. Against five Ts with Galils and basic utility, it's so difficult to fend them off with like Famuses and MP9s. And it's a pretty convincing finish here from 3D Max. The war of attrition starts right here, right now. Into the breach. If they save a org, especially, they'll have uh, $1,400 on top. Uh, Rallin can drop, I suppose, an MP9, but that's not even going to be a factor anymore. All five members eradicated. Oh, no. Huge round, and that's actually even better than winning the pistol, technically. It um, is. The 3D Max, because you don't get the additional loss bonus for losing the pistol, uh, which is $1,900. If you lose the second round, you only get 14 On CT side especially, this is like the roughest spot you can be in in Counter-Strike. So, yeah, it's... That the book suggests you force buy here because if you take the full eco, you'll only have $1,900 on top of your 14. 
Uh, you'll just be knocking on the door 3,000. You still won't be able to buy. So yeah, the, the Counter-Strike book suggests you, you force buy now and you try and answer back quickly. A so roller coaster of emotions, right? We yeah. had Lucky miss failing the flank and costing them the pistol round. Now we've got into the breach giving up around that. They definitely needed a win. The force buy from 3D Max with the Galils having planted the bomb. And you can see like what I was just uh, discussing encapsulated now on the left-hand side of your screen. You, you force poor, but it's nowhere near as potent as what 3D Max had in the previous round with Galils and Kevlar. Uh, they've got five sevens and not much else. A couple of flashes. They've got Kevlar as well, but it's such a difficult round. And you're up against a very well-equipped 3D Max. This would be monumental if into the bridge can win it. So they've got a nice little setup here. Thomas, the snake in the grass. Hoping to be overlooked. Oh my god, Anders. They almost got a double kill. Not gonna happen, is it? You what can't really it? play anti-flash against the HE that doesn't really do anything. Turning it back against the crucial rundown. You, I'm just gonna say it. I think 3D Max has done an excellent job pre preparing for this one. They seem to understand the tendencies and the yeah. usual moves. I've entered the breach. We saw it on Ancient a few times, and they seem to understand how they play their gun rounds, where they're focusing their attention at the start, so they could just help themselves to the B round time and time again. And it seems to be the case that they've scouted the uh, force buy setups as well, because you don't normally see a triple kill towards baskets like a triple nade towards baskets like that. So, yeah, I'd say in terms of preparation, 3D Max have looked solid today. Look at Exercise. What a game he's having right now. He was great on the second map, obviously. Probably the, the MVP for 3D Max on this one, and he's looking to do it again. He's got 19 kills. He's way ahead of everybody else at the moment. Lucky to find Bamas at the end. And 3D Max going to be picking up another round here. Things are starting to look really good for them. Yeah, that's now full eco territory. That round grants them two on the scoreboard. 3D Max now in the driving seat. Round 16. Surely, Nothing I can really do for you on this one, Hernandez. It's, it's full eco. I was going to say, like, this is where, you know, for, for Thomas in terms of leadership, right? Like, this is where you want to find a way to, to reinvigorate everyone. Like, this is pretty close. It's getting really scary. You can feel the potential loss coming. Like, you have to Hang get on. your team out of that. Oh, there is a, a stack going on. Stack for sure. And I think they get the first kill here. Yeah. Now, that's absolutely fine. That was the scout that went down, essentially, right? The MAG-10. I, I don't think they lose this round, but it could get uncomfortable. Yeah, taking a fair bit more damage than maybe they would have wanted to. Thomas also getting a kill with the MAG-10. It's going to help out him financially. Look at exercise. Dropping very low on health. This is a very awkward round. Rallon trying to find any weapon at all that he can. He's got a knife out still. <laughs> Does he have anything to pick up? I think he's just... He's got the knife. Surely he picked up a gun. He's got a pistol, right? No, he's got no pistol, bro. You can see in his holster, he's got no pistol. <laughs> he's knife only. <laughs> I, in all my years, I know I say this a lot, I've never seen this. I've never seen anyone seen with, this either. with a knife only. Like, you see it in spawn sometimes, if they run back and get a gun. But you never see a moment where someone's actually just got the knife. This is a world first for me. Hey, Val, when can he's we throw the knife? He's getting like, a Glock from T-Spawn. Yeah. We need to be able to throw the knives. I think that's the next, that's the next you know, evolution of this. So does he find a Glock at least? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Give him a break. I guess go for the knife. Maybe they exit out of the dark and you sit in this corner. Yeah, that's all you can do. I'd be so sick if that were. It doesn't look like they're going to be doing anything. So Okay, so those M4s might blow in towards dark. If he's so, I assume he knows the blast radius. It looks like he's too close to me. But yeah, he's absolutely fine. He can still get that M4. I think it'll be blown in towards dark. Oh, is he going to get it? It's close. It's right there. He's picked it up. Okay, that's actually kind of sick. <laughs> so the fact he's had the knife there for like 45 seconds, he understands that. The CS2 is so weird. On every other map, like Ancient, if you're that anywhere near that side of the map and the bomb goes you're off, dead. you're dead. Anubis, I guess, you're absolutely fine being in the canals. He times it to perfection, picks up an M4. And that's actually pretty good news. They needed that. Nice little cash injection there. So he got a lot out of literally nothing. No gun in Counter-Strike. <laughs> They are essential in, in many ways. Yeah. Well, here we are. It's only a two-round lead. It doesn't look like a lot. It doesn't look like 3D Max have a big lead right now, but they do. They're on the T side here, and Haji again is through the smoke. Thomas had that experience outside of oh, the B-bomb site, but this time it's in the middle. He's straight dead. Yeah, they're losing that pig time and time again. Thomas got two kills in the previous round. He was 4 and 14 before yeah. the previous, so... He's having a rough one out there. Like we said, the MVP of Inferno for sure. It's 
impactful kills, I suppose. You get the money low in some ways for 3D Max. If he can somehow win this 5 on 4 deficit, might be back into it. Rallin, though, he spots him crossing middle, but does that do much for him, though? Gonna try and answer back and send him packing. He has to give up that position as soon as his spot is found out. Still time on the clock here. Looks like they might try and split their way through to the A bomb site. They've left Haji there, and you can see the little trio of players walking back. Rowland's actually reoccupying this position. That's pretty hard to do. Might get shot at the back of the timing is against him, but he's just around the corner. Is he going to get spotted? There we go. Yeah, they know that he's there, and I think Rowland is probably dead. The mask trying to help him out, but might just be sacrificing more players too. 30 seconds left here. Crucial and Misuta. How do you hold on to this round? They're everywhere. Masuta with a double kill. Maybe it could have been possible, but without it, I doubt that they're going to be able to do much of anything. I think 3D Max will be winning this round, and I don't know if Crucial even should try and go for this one. They're not going to have a lot of money to work with. Yeah, he's already walking away. What a chaotic round. Maybe, maybe if Rallon gets away, there's, there's some way to get this round working. But losing Thomas right off the bat for the smoke, definitely very painful. It's Haji with the triple. At least Crucial's got a gun this time. Yeah. yeah that, that, they've got that going for them. I don't have to save the M4. Uh, but you're right. This is the beginning of the end. Friends of the Breach, it feels like they're, they're fading away from the Major. It's not been a great second half. Winning the pistol, losing that second round. That really, that hurts so badly. Yeah, their finances just haven't recovered. We haven't seen a crucial AWP yet, you know? Like, that's that's essential. Yeah. So he'll save an M4, but the money's in half by territory once again. They have maximum loss bonus in the next round. So with this M4, they can justify some 5.7s, some deagles. Round 18 should be a walk in the park, though, for the French. They're purchasing up a second rifle. Rallens throwing caution to the wind. Like, like I said, maximum loss bonus. So as long as he keeps about a thousand dollars, he yeah. can, can justify an M4. Uh, it might be required at this point. Gonna have to take some risks. The fashion in which Haji got that spray on Thomas was disgusting. I can't believe that's how he went down. Does he, Thomas is gonna be disgusted rewatching that at some point. And be like, no way was that how he sprayed me down. Tactical timer. The third one. The last one that they have here into the breach to try and rally the troops. Get, get the team fired up once again. Very hard being a leader in this kind of a moment. It's one thing to think about all the strategy, all the anti-strats, what have been practicing, how's it all working out. Another thing to try and lead the team and to make them believe that it's still doable here. We'll see if Thomas is gonna be able to do that. He's definitely an energetic person at the right time, so. Probably a good person to have in this kind of a scenario, but right now what they need... They need kills to prove it. Couple of M4s. Couple of 5.7s, a P250 on Bemas, and they're pushing out aggressively looking for it, but they've already been discovered. Exercise, that's an important bit of uh, information to get. Yeah, they know that someone's down here. You're right. High alert, Rallon in his position in the previous round. Similar outcome, Haji makes light work of the first rifle on route towards middle. One minute 20 remaining, they've already got prime real estate established on the 3D Max side. No, no, it's a flashbang towards the temple side. There's the smoke. So suggest an A split will be coming through with exercise position. Is it A main, Dimas? Yeah, he's got to do what you can. He's actually done very well. Crucial now, he can find multiple kills. Maybe there's a fighter's chance, but Molotov's down. Misuta, the last hope here. Recovers the M4, guaranteed frag on the first. If he can die the plant, maybe he's onto something. One more bullet would do it, Anders. A chance, a fleeting one. As Thomas goes down, Misuta knows he's got time to isolate this fight, and one bullet would do it. He connects the shop. And now it's lucky. Three points of health, flame Misuta. Same sort of territory as well. Advantage CTs, the chips were down. It looked like they didn't stand a chance in this particular round, but the pistols have found some footing. Lucky silently dismounts the boxes. 20 seconds remaining, he just doesn't have time to work with it. He's got so many area, so much area to cover. I don't think there's a chance. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, he's out in the open. Oh, oh he's gonna get no. spotted. Lucky. Oh, right God. position. Miss Suter, he almost had it. That could have been the beginning of the oh, comeback. No. Into the breach. They might have been able to revive themselves, but... I can't. I, I, I understand what he's going for there. Like, you don't want to be uh, allowing him to sneak up on you. You want to have a bit of information, but 
With the time left, 10 seconds. Yeah. You know, just force out the plant. I, I, I guess, like, he didn't have much intel to work with. Wanted to have the advantageous position. Remember what I brought up earlier, Henry, with the lost rounds that you're going to remember for a long time? These are some uh, of them. These are the ones you're going to remember if you're playing it, in the game. And, like, it's so unfortunate as well. He had to fight two for nail to get those two kills. Crucial, though. There's that EWP, Anders. Finally. Down but not out. Crucial will find the opening frag, but he's got a lot of flames around him right now, burning to a crisp. And a triple kill is delivered by 3D Max. It looks like they're destined for series points. Elimination points are into the breach right now. I don't think you can even justify going for this one. You have to save the M4s. You have to. Look at the change of pace for 3D Max. They've been playing such a measured game, taking with control, establishing controls outside of the A bomb site, and now they just absolutely wrecked them at the B bomb site. Huge kills. You're, you're right as well. Crucial. He got that first one, but he was stood in the fire, burning down. He had no real estate to maneuver on. And that's if Masuta goes down, it's not even worth looking for exits in any sense of the word. He does get that one, but the money is absolutely fine with the T side. It's self preservation they need to be presenting right now, keeping these rifles alive. They're now no going to need five rounds in a row just to, just to take us to overtime. 3D Max on the precipice of victory. So much pressure alleviated. And that kill would have been monumental if Jocko could pick it up. Worth going for. Doesn't quite convert. Yeah, neither of them had any helmets, so I thought maybe the Mac 10 jump in the corner could yeah. have uh, could he could have had the kill. It's 12 to 7. They are one round away here into the breach from getting knocked out of the major. Surely be devastating if they can't make it back. They're playing for overtime now. And for 3D Max getting wrecked on the opening map on Inferno. Absolutely shell shocked from the start as into the breach brought a fiery pace to this game. Now 3D Max are back in control. The French fighting to stay and keep their major dreams alive and continue with the RMR. Oh, the around the corner. CTs. Oh, this is really rough there. Up against the wall, just pushed into the corner. Bivas is dead. Do they know Crucial's there? Apparently not. The crosshairs suggest they have no idea. You can see Rallon doing his best to try and back up Joey on the front lines. Anders, I think we're all said and done here. It's Jocko continuing the strong form we saw in the first couple of maps. Five versus two. Hope dies last. They'll give it their best go on the retake here. It's Thomas with six kills. Who needs to retake in this two? Well, one versus five. Now it's over. It's GG. He knows it. We know it. And just a formality now before he goes down, Anders. We do say goodbye to Into the Breach, the second team being eliminated here. No question. Unfortunately, there's nothing Thomas could do to change this one. Give it a show just for the sake of it, but it's 3D Max eliminating into the breach. It took all three maps for them, but the French, you could see what it means to them. Absolutely a stressful game for them. It could have gone the other way, but this time they were just a bit stronger. So now they go into the one and two pool. A lot of work still to be done, but oh, signs yeah. of life for 3D Max.